just two miles from Kastal, lay the Arab village of Deir Yassin. Early in the morning of April 9th, the same day as the funeral of Al Husseini, fighters from the Irgun set out for the village. Deir Yassin was one of many Arab villages that had signed a peace agreement with a neighboring Jewish village, so they did not expect an attack. The Haganah intelligence officer who reported on Deir Yassin was Mordechai Gichon. Deir Yassin were only citizens. The village was completely peaceful. A number of Arabs died resisting the attack, but a far larger group lost their lives well after the battle had ended. In all, Jewish fighters killed about 110 Arabs at Deir Yassin, most of them women, children, and the elderly. People were mutilated. Hand grenades were simply thrown in the houses. Women and children were killed, bodies stuffed down wells, jewelry stripped off fingers, fingers cut off, earlobes cut off. After the massacre, they took the people which remained, they took them in a, in a car and, and went through Jerusalem. Irgun trucks full of survivors paraded up and down streets in Jewish neighborhoods. Spectators mocked, spit at, and even stoned the villagers. It was uh, very ugly. After these things, I, I did not know if I, if I am a Zionist. After the attack, the Haganah sent men to cover up the atrocities. They came to me and gave me a platoon of soldiers and soldiers and uh, told me, go there and make order. And so I came there and I was shuddering because I see how the uh, dead were strewn and they were eating uh, sandwiches with uh, marmalade. So sometime I couldn't eat marmalade after that. And then I told them, look here, I'm going to fire and shoot and kill you if you don't clean this up. And so they made uh, graves and buried them. And a few they threw in a well. And um, everything was apparently clean. And then everything looked uh, peaceful. But the massacre was not over. Some villagers remained in Deir Yassin, hiding in their homes. For two days, Irgun fighters searched for survivors. Some 
ورشوهم قدامنا احنا حملونا في بيكب لما وصلنا المنطقة بين العرب واليهود طلع لي واحد عينين زرق حلو شخصية محترمة أبو 18 سنة قلت له بالله عليك أنت عربي؟ قال تفضل ما تخافش أنتوا عند العرب هلا Most of the images of the Deir Yassin massacre are in the archives of the Israeli army. The archive refuses to release many of the images and intelligence reports on Deir Yassin, despite being well past the 50-year embargo for classified documents. Uh, looking back, I'm still, after all those years, very much shocked, and I feel it is a disgrace on the... Uh, Jewish state and of the uh, Israelis. Madbahad Deir Yassin كانت هي الحافظ الأكبر للكرة اللي تشرد تهرب بولادها وأطفالها وبناتها ونسوانها. كانوا أخذوا البنات يعني آه وفضعوا فين وسووا كذا وعملوا كذا هذا اللي خلانا إحنا نشرد. The massacre at Deir Yassin was far from the only massacre of the war, but it was the most widely publicized. By far the most massacres, rapes, atrocities, etc., were committed by Israelis, particularly after 1948 uh, independence than by Palestinians or by Arabs. The Jewish offensive continued. The normal procedure was that the Haganah would begin by a short barrage of either light mortars or three-inch mortars. Most of these villages were within Titus Orchard. So we could come closer by going between the trees of the orchards. As we deployed the width of the front with my platoon say, in front of the houses, we gave a one minute coordinated shot of whatever weapons we had and stormed. And in at least two or three of these places, when we came into the houses, there was nobody there. There was still coffee on the pot. You could see people lived there until a few minutes ago. They ran into the orchards and hid there, waited to see what happens. And if they tried to come back, they were shot at. 